And Mr. Phils just starts crying. You know, he literally just starts crying. And he's like, you guys got me. He's like, you guys got me. My name is Mark Duffy. Um, everyone knows me as Duffy. It's actually how I introduced myself. When I first came to Crossroads, we were in a bad place. I, I was paralyzed in my face and in my hands uh, due to a medication error that affected my neurological disease. And I remember literally sitting on the couch next to my wife, Caitlin, and I could barely talk. I'm like, we need God. And since then, Crossroads has really seen me through a lot of ups and downs. They put a lot of effort into you. They'll feed into you with the gospel. They'll feed into you with training. And like they said, they'll send you. They'll send you and they'll support you. So this past year, just scrolling through Facebook one day, I saw a friend posted that they wanted to bless a family or bless someone for Christmas. And then a few days later, he posted again saying that he found people who would be willing to bless someone, but he didn't find anyone to help, anyone to serve. I immediately you know, thought of you know, my neighbor you know, because he's right outside my front door and I see his needs every day. Like you see our community. Like, this place hurts. My neighbor is Mr. Phil, is what I call him. His name's Phil Walker. Mr. Phil's a diabetic, and because of his diabetes, the whole time I known him, he was like minus one leg. About two years ago, he actually woke up one morning, and his right leg was black. Like, it was just gangrene, and that other leg had to be amputated. So here, Mr. Phil is with two amputated legs and be honest we didn't think Mr. Phil was coming home. He actually spent a better part of a year in a rehab facility. And then when he got home Mr. Phil was Mr. Phil. He was you know, cutting grass and everything and getting around as best he can on his walker and uh, but you know he needed help. Ever since Mr. Phil came home from the hospital like he'd spend his days going to neighbors houses, getting the mail, taking out the trash, riding this modified tractor. When I saw my friend's Facebook post that I said that they wanted to bless someone, and like I said, I thought of Mr. Phil right away. And I thought a really cool way to bless Mr. Phil would be with a golf cart. Well, that's when Jesus came in, actually. I ended up in prayer, you know, in prayer, just going through my phone, asking God to show me people to reach out to who can help bless this gentleman. And I just kept going through my phone every day and praying and giving out phone calls and giving out text messages and email to, to be honest, about 70 different people. It was very humbling humbling because a lot of people told me no. So the week of Christmas, we were finally getting the golf cart delivered. And I wanted to have Santa deliver it to him. My father-in-law, mother-in-law, wife, were all down here getting Mr. Phil out of the house. And the next thing we know, we hear, ho, ho, ho. And Mr. Phil looks. And here comes Santa Claus in the golf cart. He pulls up beside me. I'm standing in the road there. And hand me the keys. And I'm going to tell you what, I am uh, 68 years old and I cried like a two-year-old kid. I mean, it was so touching. All my friends standing around me, hand me this beautiful golf cart. I mean, it, and, and I, they set me up like a ballpark frame. <laughs> when I saw Mr. Phil's reaction, it was a thank you, Jesus. Like, thank you for using me in such a cool way. It was cool to be able to bless him with not only a golf cart, but in reality, we blessed him with mobility. And now, it's just giving him life again.